a quick video on how to set up your free autoresponder with Response Magic. More than likely, I've already sent you a link and you signed up for Response Magic for the free account. And eventually, when you start getting a lot of leads, you're going to want to upgrade. Um, it's one time out of pocket. Don't quote me on the price. I remember paying about a hundred, maybe one twenty-five. I'm not sure, but it's worth it. Okay, because you get the uh, videos on your capture page and you get the uh, autoresponder too. So for now, you're doing it free and up to a hundred people, and you can always delete some of those people and keep it free. So anyway, I'm about to log in. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of my accounts. I'll just grab the last one I did. Okay. And right here, they have view autoresponder. Okay. So I don't have an autoresponder set up for that. Right. So what you do is you come in here and whether you use an HTML or if you're just going to do a text message, you can come right in here and click on that box. Let me go back. Actually, you want to come right here. Take that back where it says NA. This is where they first come in. It's an automatic response that goes right out to them. And I'm going to put a text message in there. So I'll just come up to the heading. Um, I got that first name in there. You'll see that information in there somewhere on how to put that name in there. And that'll put their first name in there. I always put RE in front of any of the emails that go out because sometimes this will land in their spam box. And if they're looking through their spam box, it looks like you replied to an email that they sent. They'll scroll down to yours and open and at least look at it. Okay. And then you just want to put in here something like, Hi, thanks for responding. Okay. And then you put your message here. Okay, so wait a minute. And then you just put up whatever your link is you want them to go to. Okay, you just put your link in there, but really you're going to have a, 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 a whole message that you're going to put in there. <clears throat> and if I've sent you the information, you can request the uh, email that I'm using. Or you can just follow the emails if you already opted into my page. And each time an email comes out to you, you can use that one. Um, and just replace my personal information with your information, with your links, with your name, with your phone number. Come down here. You save. Boom. And I always close it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Press OK up there. <clears throat> Now, you got your first message. It's in there. Hi, thanks for responding. You can always come back and edit. Pow. Boom. There's your message again, like I say. Um, I'm going to go back. Okay. So, now, when you're ready to put, that's automatic. That's instantly. As soon as somebody opt into your page, and if I've already showed you how to do a capture page, you should have that information. So, as soon as they go in, this message is they're going to receive immediately. Now, you want to add your next message. You come right there, press on that, fill in whatever you want to there. Now you figure out how many days you want to do. You want the last message, you want this to come out the next day, you just stick a one in there. You want to wait for two days later for that message to come out, I say boom. Okay, but on the first message, I recommend one day. The next day after, you want to be right on top of it. Put your message here. Okay, and then boom, you go down again and you save it. Now, this is just a sample, but you will have a whole email message there. Okay, save it. Okay, you just saved it. And like I say, I like to close mine out, close, and it takes you back here. Now, you see that green right there that's letting you know that your first message is 
not only are your auto response automatically responding, but a day later, it's going to send this message out. And you can always go in there and edit it. Okay? This is just a sample, so don't concern yourself with that. And if you already have uh, emails that you can send out, then you can use those. And if you don't, just contact me. Um, I'm sure you can do that if I've sent you this email. If I sent you this video, we have contact already. Okay, so pretty much that's it. I mean, there's really not much else to it. You just keep doing that on down, on down, on down. Add the next message. Boom. You ready to add the next one? This is the next one. Two days later, you want that to go out. Boom. Okay. But you're going to have a full message in there. You save it. Okay. Close it out. Bam. Go your next message. You say next. Okay. And you just continue that on down. 30, 40, 10, 5. You got to have more than actually not 5. You need more than 7 messages. A person usually responds after seeing your message 7 to 12 times. But some people will go 30 days, 40 days, 50 days, stretch them out two and three days apart right here, and you'll be fine. So I hope that helps. you have any questions, you can always contact me, but that's pretty much how it works. Thank you.